Sometimes you just don't have a 3D model to extract perspective lines from. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple workflow using an existing photo as a backdrop to design and generate ideas for a presentation. This is also a good example of when you have limited time on your hands and when you need to come up with quick concepts. The goal for these kind of sketches is fast at communicating some high level concepts, but not necessarily to work out construction details. I use them fairly often to seek feedback and see what client like and dislike about each option. Oftentimes, client will like the idea from one option and wishes to combine it into a different option. Hi, my name is Henry Gao, and I share architectural drawing tips on the iPad to encourage a digital workflow for architects and interior designers. I use an app called Procreate for most of my design and illustration. In this project, the client purchased a spec house and didn't really love the living room that came with it and wanted to see some ways that we can do to make the space a little bit more dynamic and warmer. I had an existing plan so I knew how big the space was. I also had a number of photos of the space, but I chose this one to work with because I think it showed the space in the best angle. For future reference, the one point perspective with strong leading lines are generally a good start for most sketches. The first thing I'm gonna do in Procreate is to reduce the photo to about 50% opacity so your sketches reads more legible. You might also want to desaturate the photo like I did so it's less distracting. Remember to never draw on the existing photo or layer, even though sometimes I've made that mistake myself. So just double check your layer structure to make sure you are always drawing on empty layer, or you can lock this layer to prevent any accidental drawings on it. I'm going to give you the general framework about this process and be less prescriptive about how you should be drawing because I want to encourage you to develop your own style of sketching. It doesn't have to be the wiggly line style that I have. If you prefer to draw in straight lines only, that's totally fine too. I am breaking down this workflow into two phases. Phase one needs to be very quick. It's basically a brain dump of all your ideas and thoughts to paper. This is similar to drawing on trace paper. Try to get as many ideas as you can without overthinking. I encourage you to sketch quickly as this is what makes the drawing by hand so unique because there is a special brain to hand connection that's hardly found anywhere else. Next, focus on the bigger ideas in each scheme and try to avoid drawing ideas that are too similar to each other. There's typically a time for that later. Remember, this is not a linear process by any means. You can totally jump back and forth between layers to add or subtract from your drawings. What's great about working digitally is you can erase and redraw in a somewhat non-destructive manner, especially if you are strategic about drawing things on different layers to start. You'll notice in this first phase of brainstorming, I'm not producing the most beautiful drawings. In fact, I feel like my line work are all over the place. But this is not what I'm concerned with. My priorities now are to come up with good ideas in a very short period of time. In phase two, this is where I make things more attractive for the presentation. When the heavy lifting is done in phase one, I will generally have more than enough ideas that I need to delete and pick a few strong ones that will make it into the presentation. Generally, this can be anywhere from three to five options. Any more than that, I risk the chances for decision paralysis for the client. Drawing wise, what I will do is to take the ideas from phase one, reduce them in opacity, and trace over it with more concise and intentional line weights. And this will be my finished drawing over the existing photo when I export it. In my layer structure, you'll see I've already deleted all the brainstorming sketches and only kept the final options that were presented to the client. As for the meeting, this is generally enough to have a conversation about which direction to push forward. And in the next meeting, a SketchUp model and CAD drawings might be produced to better visualize the design with more precision and suggest materiality. For this project, a wireframe view from SketchUp model was sufficient along with some physical materials and no rendering was requested. 
I feel like this is a simple process that anyone might be able to incorporate into their workflow. So let me know if this is something that you are already doing on Lightpad or if you see yourself using it in the future. Also, if you have any suggestions on improving any aspect of this process, please let me know in the comments below. Lastly, there are a number of resources in the link below that you can download like the brushes I used in this tutorial, various templates and guides that you might find helpful if you're just starting out on a digital workflow in Procreate. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time.